So one of the key values for uh, Gigamon deployment is, of course, in, in aggregating multiple network segments into uh, one or more fire appliances. This is a, a primary value for including a visibility fabric into your monitoring space. I mean, that's one of the core reasons to do it. Uh, you obviously can't afford to put monitoring and security tools on every connection throughout the network. It's just cost prohibitive. So it makes much more sense to aggregate the traffic and centralize your monitoring tools, which allows you to forward low utilization links back to a central site and share that traffic across optimized protection. Gigamon came out with a GigaSecure line of inline products that helps avoid the problem of uh, an inline tool becoming a single point of failure. Uh, things happen and sometimes a tool will fail, power supply will go, something will happen, but more generally, for uh, maintenance, for downtime, so that you can uh, perform a, a firmware upgrade or something on the product without interrupting service through that primary core link that needs to be secured. So we, we allow for uh, a more reliable primary link while still handling the opportunity for uh, product downtime. So as an example, in this particular graphic, we have uh, the inline product, uh, the FireEye, uh, doing its, its allow deny job and if you were going to do a maintenance upgrade on that product uh, we allow you to do a logical bypass of the inline tool. We actually can continue forwarding traffic right through the inline link without forwarding the traffic through the protection which gives you the opportunity during a maintenance window to keep the link up and operating while you're performing the maintenance. Another great feature the GigaSecure product line offers is the ability to operate two devices in parallel, where one is the primary and the other is kind of a hot standby. In the event the primary has an issue, we do detect uh, drop in link state, uh, we have a, a situation where what we call our heartbeat packet doesn't arrive on the other side of the, the inline tool, we're then able to declare that tool to be in a down state and switch over to the, the hot standby product. Another way the GigaSecure product line can be deployed is we can take a 1 or 10 gig link and share the traffic across multiple 1 gig tools. So if, if one of the FireEye customers has recently upgraded to a 10 gig link that needs inline protection, that traffic volume that's going through that link is not 10 gig the day you upgrade. But the day you upgrade, it's a 10 gig interface. Do you want to go deploy a 10 gig tool? Chances are uh, that's a little expensive for 1 gig of traffic. This allows you to grow into the traffic volume slowly. FireEye has a great presence in the inline protection and security space, and as it moves deeper into the uh, enterprise space, into the data center, um, there's a, a greater incidence of virtualization appearing as customers are migrating into the, the virtual space. And uh, getting traffic from the virtual space out for security tools to inspect it becomes problematic. So the Gigamon product is able to forward selective traffic, the traffic that you need inspected, out of the virtual space over to your existing deployment of uh, FireEye products. So you can then extend the same coverage you're giving to your physical network. You can extend that coverage to your virtual network at the same time. You're utilizing the same products. You're extending the value of your FireEye deployment and growing with your changes in your network architecture. So kind of in summary, in, in order to support a security deployment such as the FireEye product, we're able to use the Gigamon products to forward traffic from the physical space selectively uh, through aggregation, replication, filtering, packet optimization such as header stripping and deduplication, virtualization, SDN and such, so that your security profile can be applied evenly across all of the different places that traffic is appearing within your infrastructure today and in the future.